Hey, what's going on guys? Jason Osborne, J.O. Vision, back with another video. Today we're talking Lightroom, but we're not gonna be talking about editing. We're gonna be talking about picture distribution, how you can use Lightroom to create an online gallery to distribute your pictures, and even use them with watermarks. Coming up. All right guys, so I'm gonna make this quick and easy and this is all you have to do. You're gonna want to go to uh, lightroom.adobe.com and you're gonna wanna click sign in and then you're gonna wanna click get an Adobe ID. And basically what you're gonna use that for is a shell account. Just create a, a random account that you're gonna be giving that information to your clients or models so they can log in to the Adobe account as well to view their pictures. Mine is client at jovision.com, password, you don't need to worry about that. Once you have that done, basically you are going to go to Lightroom, water, export your photos uh, with the watermark and then re-import them uh, as their own folder, okay? So I had these uh, photos right here, I watermarked and then I re-imported them with the watermark. Once you do that, you're gonna bring them down into the collections area in this panel on the left-hand side in the library module, and you're going to sync that with your Lightroom mobile account. So all you have to do is just click this little square, it'll turn into a lightning bolt, and that gallery will now be linked to your Lightroom mobile account. If you have an Adobe Lightroom account, you have a Lightroom mobile account. Just sign in with the same sign-in information that you sign in when you sign into an Adobe. Okay, so once you have that, okay, I will log in with my first account, my real account, so I can show you that the pictures are in there. So here are the pictures that I watermarked. They got synced from my Lightroom straight to here. You're gonna click Shared, Share Settings, and then a link is gonna show up, and you're gonna hit Copy. Once you've done that, it's very simple. You email that link to whoever is going to uh, view their pictures, but you're gonna make sure you include the instructions to sign into the account with the shell account information that you just created. So they'll click the link, the gallery pops up just like this, and before they even do anything, you wanna tell them to come over here to the right-hand side, click sign in, and then use that shell account information. So I'll enter in the shell account information, boom, boom, click sign in, and now those photos are here, but they have the power to like and comment on them. And those likes and comments are synced back to your Lightroom, so you'll be able to know which pictures they want from the session. So say I like this picture right here, I click on it, I click on this little heart, this little comment bubble even. So one is relaying back to my Lightroom that the client liked this picture. And then also I can be like, love this shot. Type it, boom, excellent. You close that out, continue on browsing pictures. Meanwhile, me the photographer, you'll be able to see that that picture that I notated and liked has been commented on right here, love this shot, and they like it, notifying to me that this is the picture they want. And this is a simple way to get your pictures to your clients, and it's a great way to, one, add some professionalism to your photography, especially if you're charging money. You know, give your clients a gallery of photos they can look for, you know, look forward to. I know some people say, don't ever let your clients see your raw photos, but honestly, I've kind of shed that mentality, and here's why. One, once you get more acclimated to photography, your raw photos aren't going to be that bad. Your clients are gonna be able to see a raw photo and they might even think it's a great shot. Now you know once you edit it, it's gonna be even better shot, but raw photos are necessary sometimes to give the client a good idea of what to expect. And also, sometimes it's a great idea because you wanna make some extra money on top of what you charge. There have been a couple times now that I've used this method of sending all the photos from a session, raw, unedited, to the client, they might get five or six or eight pictures that they paid for already. They select their eight, but then they say, hey, you know what, this one is actually good. This one is actually good. This one is actually good. And before you know it, that client who only paid for eight is now paying for an additional eight pictures that they wouldn't have seen if you would have just sent them that original eight or just sent them the best pictures that you thought came out of the session. So it's always good to use this kind of method to give yourself some opportunity to make some extra money on top of what you charge and also to seem more professional. 
I hope this helped you. I mean, Lightroom is such a powerful tool and it can do so many things that I think a lot of the options are hidden away and a lot of photographers just don't even know about them. This is why I made this video because I found a lot of people didn't even know that Lightroom could create online web galleries and even watermark your photos for those galleries. So I really do hope that this video helps you. If it did help you, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button for me. If you have a comment or a suggestion for a new tutorial, leave one in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. New videos every week and I'd like to see you guys come back. This is Jason Osborne, J-O Vision, and yeah, I'll be back at the next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.